Mark Marcus. President of the Senate, Senator Gautio Ababio, has said that Nigeria will always value the association of Senate, Shura, and equivalents of councils in Africa and the Arab world, ASECA, as a pivotal platform for advancing parliamentary collaboration, just as it takes pride in having hosted the inaugural ASECA retreat in 2006. Speaking at the 11th annual retreat of the association in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, Senator Pabio restated the commitment of Nigeria to the alliance and believes strongly in the power of cooperation to drive development across Africa and the Arab world. It is through forums like this that we can share best practices, align legislative efforts and support each other in driving economic growth. My dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, ASECA provides us with a unique opportunity to forge lasting partnerships capable of driving transformative change. I urge all of us to use this retreat to deepen our commitments as our collective strength is crucial to overcoming the challenges that we all face. Under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Senate President stated, Nigeria continues to champion parliamentary diplomacy and intergovernmental cooperation. He reiterated that his e this year's theme, strengthening the joint parliamentary action of the Global South countries to face environmental, technological and development challenges, is both timely and essential. Senator Pabio also highlighted the challenges faced by both continents, no acknowledging the intertwined histories of Asia and Africa. We face rapid shifts that present both immense opportunities and significant challenges. The digital economy promises substantial growth, but our policies must foster innovation while safeguarding the interests of our citizens. He noted that regarding environmental challenges, Africa and the Arab world are acutely aware of the urgency of addressing climate change. For Nigeria's bold steps, the green initiatives, including large-scale renewal, renewable energy projects and initiatives. Yet, we know that meaningful progress lies in regional cooperation. Our united voices in the Global South must advocate for climate justice and the implementation of sustainable practices. Senator Pabio harped on the need for collaboration with regional partners, as he says, addressing poverty, inequality and unemployment requires innovative legislative solutions.